On this episode of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at the movie Downton Abbey, written by Julian Fellows and directed by Michael Engler. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. All right, so last night we got to see a pre-screening of Downton Abbey, the movie. April gives this movie three and a half stars. I give it three stars as a movie. But as a Downton Abbey show, I give it a five stars. We'll tell you all about it right now because there were no trailers. Okay, here we go. Obviously, the storyline is the continuing story of the Crowley family, wealthy owners of a large estate in the English countryside in the early 20th century. Downton Abbey, I don't know who knows this, but uh, just a reminder, 52 episodes over six seasons, Tim and I we're obsessed with the show. We absolutely love it. So I just want to do a, a preface there as we get in. So you can imagine how excited we were last night. Oh, very excited. We were jumping up and down. <laughs> and I want to say, since Tim gave it the way he did, obviously, as a movie, I'd rated it three and a half. I'd actually rate it between three and a half and four. The director was Michael Engler. This was his first big screen movie, folks. But he's known for many, many TV credits, 53 to be exact. Not just Downton Abbey, Sex and the City, Sisters, The Big C, 30 Rock, Parenthood, Deadwood, West Wing, and Party of Five. So many of these TV shows are my favorites. So that's his background. The writer was Julian Fellows. He's known for Downton Abbey, the TV series School of Rock, and Separate Lies. Um, if you're a fan of Downton Abbey, going down this cast list... Um, you know, it's a huge cast. This is an ensemble cast. Um, you got uh, Matthew Good, Maggie Smith, Michael Dockery, Elizabeth McGovern, Alan Leach, Joanne Fogart, <laughs> Laura Carmichael, Raquel Cassidy, Sophie McShira, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody from the TV series was in this movie. So nobody was missed. No one. Uh, it was so good. It was like seeing old friends. Exactly. The runtime was 122 minutes. It's rated PG for some elements eh, that that have some suggestive material and language. Not bad, though. I don't know. You could have, for me, you could have given this movie a G rating. So. I, I kind of agree with that. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, like I said at the start, I give this movie, I have two different ratings. As a standalone movie, it's a three. For Downton Abbey fans, it's a five. I <laughs> love this from the Downton Abbey standpoint. So let me let me tell you where I'm going with this. From a movie standpoint, if you've never watched the the television series, you might not have been lost, but you would have missed a lot in this yes. movie. There was a lot of things where, where in the audience where Downton Abbey fans cheered and went, oh, ah, and laughed at certain things because they know these characters. They've lived with these characters for six seasons and they yeah. love these characters and 52 episodes and 52 <laughs> episodes. But if you'd never seen any of those episodes, you would have been going, hmm, there's no, there's no, cause it's an ensemble cast. There's no protagonist in this movie. Cause everybody in the TV series, they all were their own little protagonists. They all had their own little storylines and that carried over into this movie. Right. Right. So there was no story arc for, for somebody new to the show. There was to, also no review either. And a lot of people were kind of confused, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I see what you're saying. No, there was no previously on Downton Abbey type right. of thing, right? Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> that happened. But, people were saying that around us. Right. But but as far as as a movie, as a standalone movie, I think a lot of people would be lost. And to me, this movie, and, and after looking at, at the director, Michael Engler, this made sense to me. It's his first movie. To me, I felt like I was watching a television episode on the big screen. That's not a bad thing because I'm a huge Downton Abbey fan. Well, and like I said, as a Downton Abbey fan, I'm gonna this jump was, in. A, was a five for me. Okay, I'm jumping in because let me just do a shout out and a thank you. This movie tied up so many issues, plots, relationships. 
I felt so at peace. I realized that when it ended, there were still things I wanted to see. So I am delighted. We never give spoilers, but let me just let you know, if you're focused on relationships and people, when you're addicted or obsessed or just really enjoying a show of this kind of length, this movie is a thank you. I think it was a thank you to the fans. Oh, and I, I, I totally and I agree with you. It. And like I said, it, it, for, for Downton Abbey fans, it's a five. All righty. So the theme, do you feel like, Tim, as time changes everything? Yeah. I mean, that this was an ongoing theme through the series. You know, you had the old, you know, the, the, the grandparents, the parents. The old guard. And, and then the guard. kids. So there was this constant change of how these royal families and the families that are in, in line, succession of the throne, right. how, how they dealt with it, you know, in All these right. grand estates. So this yeah. was an ongoing theme throughout the series. So. Uh, and obviously the acting and the characters were fantastic. I can't tell you from the costumes to their their voices to, I mean, they literally, each one of them got in back into their roles. I just couldn't believe it. From Mary to Edith to... Tom to Mr. What's the, the, the butler? That's Carson. The, Car- Carson, but the other butler that's kind of hyperactive. Uh, Thomas Barrow. That's him. Yeah. It, it just was amazing to see this. And just, it was just fantastic. And this movie, this movie in like the series, the production design, the cinematography is beautiful. Oh, yeah. I mean, countryside of England, they, oh. you made you believe that you were in the 1920s. Beautiful. Everything is fantastic. Okay, for me, I thought the score was awesome. Obviously, I loved the production design, the cinematography, one of the most beautiful movies, I I think I can say, in a long time. It was just, it was so comforting. You've got, the pace was average. That's one thing I would say. And obviously, the dialogue was fantastic, particularly between Violet Crawley uh, Maggie Smith, of course, and Isabel Gray, which is Penelope Wilton. They made the TV show, and they were so good in the movie. Yeah, Julian Fellows is is an awesome writer. In the dialogue, he comes up for some of these characters, especially uh, Violet Crawley, the grandmother. She her 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 wit is just amazing, and and, and Maggie Smith does just a, a awesome job of playing her. So yeah, I, I as always, but their relationship it went to a new level. In this, do you agree with that? Oh yeah, because you know, once again, uh, Isabel she always put up with Violet's stuff. But one of the things I thought was so funny in the movie, and this once again, this is something that that the Downton Abbey fans would pick up and love. She finally rolled her eyes at her. I thought that was great in the movie. <laughs> yeah, there was, and just a lot of things. Obviously, Mary has softened. Edith has such wonderful things happening. So does Tom. I mean, it was just the whole thing. And there was a little bit of revenge that obviously the king and queen were coming. And it was you got to see how the housekeepers, the staff, how defensive and loyal they are to Downton Abbey. It was just fun. It was just wonderful. Well, to me, one of the best things about the show was the fact that you had it focused on two sets of uh, groups of people. You had the royals. You know, the, like I said, the Crawleys are in line, way down the line of succession. They're the landowners and the owners. You had them. But then you had what really made this show special is what you had is, quote unquote, the common people, right? The, the butlers, right. the staff who, who ran this humongous household. And that's what made, was the magic of this show. Everybody was important in this show. I agree with that so much. It was uh it was a treat, but I, I kind of agree. I think for me, the reason I only rated it at a three and a half, obviously a five for being such a Downton Abbey um, fanatic, and, and I'm leaving a little room here for that, but three and a half to probably a four is I have to say, I, I think the pace could have been a little bit better. That that was it for me. And then I think I was expecting maybe something else. I, I don't know, one more big event. But they got in as much as they could. And a big thank you and a shout out. We really enjoyed ourselves. Um, Tim, anything you want to add? Yeah, like, like April was saying, to the, to the makers of this film, thank you. Because we felt kind of like the, the show, it didn't end abruptly, but it ended. But yeah. thank you for bringing it back and making a movie 
and given us these wonderful characters and, and wonderful setting once again. Really enjoyed that part of it. And do more. Please, make more movies. Make more I'd love movies. to go to a movie a couple times a year. Yeah, I'll definitely sit through another Downton Abbey movie. Right. And I also want to do a shout out to the Springs and Sandy Springs. They have all kinds of Downton Abbey themed drinks. So please, if you're going to see Downton Abbey, get to the Springs Cinema and Tap House in Sandy Springs. You won't regret it. And as always, please, if you like what you're hearing, tell a friend. Let them know about the podcast. We really appreciate it. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the movies. We'll see you at the movies, and for all of, all everyone that's meeting up for teas, women in my circle and beyond, we'll see you at some tea houses, and I'll probably see you again at this movie. See you at the movies. <laughs>